precipitation. If the droplets and crystals get too heavy, gravity pulls them to Earth. Remember, gravity is the force that pulls things toward the center of the Earth. The droplets and crystals fall in the form of snow, sleet, hail, or rain. All of these things are forms of precipitation. Temperature determines the form precipitation will take. When the air near the Earth is warm, the water particles in the atmosphere absorb heat energy. Then the ice crystals and clouds melt as they fall to Earth. They change from a solid to a liquid called rain. However, in tropical areas like Hawaii, the temperature even high in the air doesn't get cold enough for water to freeze. When this happens, the water droplets and clouds come together, and they get bigger and bigger until they become so heavy that they fall to the ground as rain. But sometimes, the ice crystals never melt. If the air near the Earth is cold, precipitation will fall as a solid. Snow, hail, sleet, and ice are forms of solid precipitation. Snow is actually made up of small crystals of frozen water. The crystals gather together as they fall and form snowflakes. Hail falls more than once. Hail is made up of pieces of ice that fall and then are blown back up into the air by wind. Each time a piece of hail goes up and down through the air, it collects more water and gets bigger. Hail can be as small as a pea or as big as an orange. Sleet is made up of raindrops that freeze as they fall to Earth. Sleet is smaller than hail. Wow, so ice crystals and clouds get bigger and heavier until they become so heavy that they fall as snow, hail, or sleet. Yes, but only if it's cold. If it's warm, the ice crystals will melt into rain. But remember, not all rain starts off as ice. Sometimes the temperature is warm enough that the water never freezes into ice crystals. Now when that happens, the droplets get bigger and heavier, and they fall as rain. But where does water go after it falls as precipitation? Good question. Bye.